using Notepad++, open a blank file. You can also use the normal Notepad, but Plus Plus gives you some uh, convenient color coding. First thing, with a blank file, save a file as home.html. To do that, file, save as, change the name to home.html, or if you don't want to type .html, select hypertext markup language here and save it. Uh, save it into a new folder somewhere you can find it easily. In my case, I have put it on the desktop over here. Okay, home.html. If you double click this file, uh, HTML file by default will be opened by your default browser. Okay, so we are editing it within Notepad and we are viewing it in the browser. Whatever we type here will appear there. Okay, so let's begin. Begin first by putting HTML tag. The tag is written within uh, triangular brackets. You need to close the tag. Tags come in pairs, usually with some exceptions. So HTML open, HTML close tag. And we're going to type all our text uh, within here. Okay, let's just uh, save whatever you do here save it and then go to the browser and hit refresh okay notice that the browser ignores spaces save refresh okay so i put a number of spaces here even if you put many lines it's uh, still going to be ignored by the browser Okay. Okay. We're more on this later. Uh, well, I'm going to teach you head, close head, and body, close body. Okay. So we have the within the HTML, we have the head and the body. What do we do in the head? We're going to put a title. A title tag okay and we're going to write uh, give it a name cookie cutters okay and if I save that let's refresh this so you notice the title cookie cutters something that's enclosed within the title tag in the head will appear and update over here okay to see the changes you have to save your notepad and then refresh your browser Okay, body text. Okay, if I whatever I type in the body will appear here. Okay, so that's the body text in here and the title text up there. Okay, something about the body, we can change the background color uh, within the body tag. And within the triangular bracket, after immediately after body, put a space and let's type BG color, color spelled in the American way, C O L O R. Okay, and open and close the quotes and put in a color like pink. Okay, so body, this is called an attribute. We are assigning BG color to be pink. Okay, the browser will understand this. Let's save it and refresh that. Okay, so you will see. Uh, uh, background color. Okay, now what happens if we want to uh, uh, change the font color? Okay, so there is a font tag. Let's do that. Open and close font tag. Notice that we always have to nest, uh, have an open and close within there. Okay, so within the body, we have this line and we're going to change the font. I put a space, put color. So we're going to edit the attributes of the font and we're going to put a font color there. Let's say uh, uh, blue. Okay, so that changes to blue. You can try uh, different colors there. Okay, brown.
all right so that is a uh, font color okay by default it is black so if you change the background to black uh, you're not going to see your text and you have to change the font color okay the next thing i want to teach you is how to do bold underline italic uh, superscript and subscript here i'm going to show you uh, what these are okay i've typed the text there okay uh first thing first let's teach you how to do a line break okay you notice that i want this below okay the br this is a line break this is like pressing enter key you don't have to close a br okay so that gives it a uh, line okay uh let's do one here also okay so bold underlying italic superscript okay so for bold it's just a b tag so open and close this is for bold okay bold underline is you close it be careful if you don't close it you will end up with uh, everything like that in the, the html tags the tags are not case sensitive you can type them in uh, small caps it will work as a good practice i'm typing them in uh, uppercase a okay, superscript S U P subscript S U B. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like. Save it and refresh. Okay, just for comparison, okay, superscript is like the X square, the power. Subscript is like your chemical symbols if you want to do uh, H2O. Okay. H2O. Superscript uh, X square. Okay, X square, H2O. So superscripts are the ones flying in the air subscripts are the ones like underground okay let's make the title let's make this title bigger the font is now all standard size uh, here we have it the black font okay uh, the tag for this is called h1 this is a header h for header okay, i'll show you what it looks like what the header thing does is uh, the tag it makes it a compulsory bold and it also uh, pushes ensures a space below so now there are two spaces this one is here let me remove this okay so it ranged from h1 all the way to h6 there are those different sizes so the smaller the num number uh the smaller the number the bigger it is let's use h1 for the the biggest okay so explore that if your background color is uh let's say black your font color got to be something like uh yellow okay i'm gonna uh put the closing font somewhere below so that our our whole all our text okay we're going to color it yellow so that we can see it here okay 